Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? This is new syllabus from your mathematics workbook 5A. Chapter number 5 ratios here we are going to do worksheet number 2 equivalent ratios on page 104 today in this video. Okay, so hold a pencil in your hands and watch the video till the end. First we are going to find out what are equivalent ratios, right? And then we are going to solve some of the questions. So my dear students, we know ratio is basically the comparison between few values. It could be two values or more than two values. But we have to find out the relationship or the comparison between two or more values. Okay. Now, if we have ratios like this, for example, I have two ratios and they are in such a way where I can multiply or divide them in such a way that I could get the same answer. What does this mean? What does this mean? The easiest thing is that when I have ratio 3 is to 6, this is equivalent to 1 is to 2. के. Because when I divide in two numbers ko divide kar deti hun 3, se, so I get 1 is to 2. So this means 3 is to 6 is equivalent to 1 is to 2 ya aap isko vice versa keh sakte hain ki 1 is to 2 is equivalent to 3 is to 6 kyunki agar 1 is to 2 ko main multiply kar dun 3 se to mujhe 3 is to 6 mil jata hai yani har wo do ratios jinko multiply ya divide karke hasil kiya ja sake they are called equivalent ratios yani jinko simplify kiya ja sake ya jinko multiply kiya ja sake to hum unko kehte hain equivalent ratios now come to page number 104 of workbook 5A. So now you can see that the ratio of the number of pears to the number of pineapples is what? How many pears do I have? I have 8 pears. And how many pineapples? 4 pineapples. So students, I can divide these two numbers. I can simplify 8 with 4 because both of them are multiple and factors of each other. 4 ones are 4. 4 2s are 8. So the ratio, equivalent ratio of 8 is to 4 is 2 is to 1. Right? 2 in the place of 8 and 1 in the place of 4. So the equivalent ratio of pears to pineapples here is 2 is to 1. Now we have part B. Circle the fruits in sets of 2. So we will simplify them. Here we have 8 pears. And here we have four pineapples, right? Now here what I have to do is, I have to pack these fruits in sets of two. That is in each set I should have two pears. Similarly, in each set of pineapples, I should have two pineapples. So how many sets do I have now? I have four sets of pears and two sets of pineapples. So the new ratio is 4 is to 2. Now one more time. Here I have to circle the fruits in sets of 4. That is in each set I have to put 4 pears or 4 pineapples. So I have two sets of pears and only one set of pineapple. So the new ratio would be 2 is to 2. 1. That is the same as we got in part A. As the number of pears and pineapples do not change in all three cases, the equivalent ratios are 8 is to 4 is equals to 4 is to 2 and 2 is to 1. Right? So in part A, we have got 8 is to 4, then we simplified it to 4 is to 2 and we simplified it further into 2 is to 1. So we have equivalent ratios in 3 pairs. Now come to page number 105. Here we have a set of cans and another set of bottles. We have to find out the ratio of the number of cans to the number of bottles. So already they have mentioned it is 3 for the cans. And how many bottles do we have? We have 9 bottles. So the ratio is 3 is to 9. And it can also be expressed in its simplest form as 1 is to 3. That is 3 is to 9 is equivalent to 1 is to 3. Question number 3. 
Here we have a set of trucks, then cars, then bicycles. The ratio of the number of trucks to the number of cars to the number of bicycles is 6 is to 2 is to 4. And we can simplify it with the table of 2 because all are even numbers. So, cut it by 2, you'll get 3 by 2, 1 and by 2, 2. So, it would be as 3 is to 1 is to 2, right? Now, we have to fill in the missing numbers. All we need to do is either we have to find out by multiplying or by dividing. So, 2 is to 3 is equals to dash is to 12. We have to find out which ratio has been provided. Not the first one, but the second one is provided. So, we have to find out the relationship between 3 and 12. It's simple. They have multiplied it with 4. 3 into 4 gives us 12. So, we have to multiply it with 4 here. 2 into 4 gives us 8. So, the equivalent ratio of 2 is to 3 is 8 is to 12. Similarly, dash is to 4 equals to 12 is to 48. So, we have been provided with... The next one, that is 4 into some number gives us 48. So, we can divide 48 here with 4. 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8. So, here we have to multiply it with 12. We multiplied 4 with 12 to get 48. So, it means the same. We divided 48 with 12 to get 4. So, again here we will divide it with 12 to get this ratio. Here we will be having 1, 12 divided by 12, 1, 48 divided by 12, 4, 12 divided by 12, 1. We have to multiply or divide with the same number. Similarly, here we have 1 is to 2 is to 4. We have a set of 3 numbers and only the middle one is provided. So, we will go for the middle one. Here we have to divide 10 with a certain number to get 2. What it could be? It would be 5 because 10 divided by 5 gives us 2. So, we have to find out the numbers that we, we would get by multiplying 4 and 1 with 5. Right? Because 2 into 5 gives us 10. So, 1 into 5 will give us 5 and 4 into 5 will give us 20. So, 1 is to 2 is to 4 equals to 5 is to 10 is to 20. Similarly, this one. Dash is to 3 is to 7. 8 dash into 14. ठीक है? तो अब यहाँ पर भी हम यही करेंगे. यहाँ पर लेकिन problem ये आ रही है students कि यहाँ पर मेरे पास एक इस तरफ blank है left hand side पर और एक blank मेरे पास right hand side के ऊपर भी तो मौजूद है. तो हमने पकड़ना है ऐसे number को है जो दोनों में given हो. Number one यहाँ पर missing है. Number 2 यहाँ पर missing है, but number 3 तो दोनों में मौजूद है, तो हम इनका relation देख लेते हैं, यहाँ पर 7 को मैं multiply कर रही हूँ 2 से, तो मुझे 14 मिल रहा है, इसका मतलब है 3 को भी multiply करना पड़ेगा 2 से, तो middle number मिल जाएगा यहाँ पर, that is 6, 3 2s are 6, और यहाँ पर 8 given है, तो 8 से मुझे left hand side पर आने के लिए, 2 से divide करवाना पड़ेगा, तो क्या answer आ जाएगा मेरे पास? 4. आपने देखना यह है कि जिस तरफ से आप दूसरी तरफ जा रहे हैं वहां मल्टीप्लिकेशन हो रहा है या डिवीजन अगर दोनों तरफ जो है आपको रिलेशनशिप ढूंढना है तो एक तरफ डिवीजन होगा दूसरी तरफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन होगा यह बिल्कुल एक तयशुदा बात है तो यहां पर अब आप करके देख लीजिए 4 into 2 gives us 8 3 into 2 gives us 6 7 into 2 gives us 14 so it means 4 is to 3 is to 7 equals 8 is to 6 is to 14. ठीक है? अब हमने क्या करना है इसी तरह से question number 5 के अंदर simplest form ढूननी है ऐसे numbers को find out करना है जिससे हम simplify कर सके 5 और 15 दोनों के से simplify हो सकते हैं 5 से तो हमारे पास answer क्या जाएगा 1 is 2, 3 5 1s are 5 और 5 3s are 15 27 और 30 दोनों के से simplify हो सकते हैं 3 से 3 9s are 27 3 10s are 30 तो 9 is 2 10 4 is to 12 is to 6. ये तीनों किसे simplify हो सकते हैं? 2 से. तो हमने 2 से कर देना है. 4 divided by 2, 2. 12 divided by 2, 6. 6 divided by 2, 3. तो हमारे पास क्या ratio आगे? 2 is to 6 is to 3. सिर्फ आपने वो number find out करना है, जिससे आपने simplify करना है. 12 और 6, दोनों 6 से simplify हो सकते हैं. 12 divided by 6, 
टू सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स वन ठीक है इसी तरह से थ्री इस टू ट्वेंटी सेवन इस टू ट्वेल्व तीनों किससे सिंप्लीफाई हो सकते हैं थ्री से तो थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री नाइन ट्वेल्व डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री फोर वन इज टू नाइन इज टू फोर अब फोर्टी टू ट्वेल्व और ट्वेंटी वन है ये तीनों किसके टेबल में आते हैं तो ये तीनों थ्री के टेबल में आते हैं ये आप देख सकते हैं सिंप्लीफाई करके थ्री वन जार थ्री थ्री फोर जार ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन फोर्टीन को ट्वेल्व को डिवाइड किया थ्री से तो आंसर आता है फोर ट्वेंटी वन को डिवाइड किया तो सेवन तो वी हैव न्यू इक्विबेलेंट रेशो एज फोर्टीन इज टू फोर इज टू सेवन हेर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ऑन पेज वन ओ फोर एंड वन ओ फाइव थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो टिल दी एंड टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़